The controversial Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright has come and gone. He leaves behind a community that's trying to end gang violence and racial tension. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden joins us now with more. Betsy. Good evening, Alyssa. So through implementing programs like the Violence Reduction Initiative, our city is hoping to stop crime. But local artists feel like the power of music could change everything. Stephen Marshall, known as The Disciple, has been writing music and rapping alongside his manager, John Watts, for 13 years. If negative rap can influence our young people to do negative, why can't positive rap influence our young people? people to do positive. So I went to meet Paul Smith, who heads the Violence Reduction Initiative, to talk about what the city is doing to push the younger generation down the right path. Uh, and to deal with uh, the minors, uh, we have a great programming at our YFD centers and through our Youth and Family Development uh, uh, Department. Alexia helps individuals uh, learn how to read and improves their reading. But these musicians believe music could be the key to start seeing change. So we're going to reach the them where they at and we use the tool of rap because that's what they listen to. They're not going to listen to some old guy like me preaching or trying to give them a lecture. They want to hear some music and music is very, very, whoo, I can't even say what music does but once it goes into your ear hole and if you liking it, it's going to change something in you. Rap is the modern music of today so everybody's probably going to listen to it. It's a crossover between rapping and preaching. But do city officials agree? And so we really enjoyed uh, the artist, the disciple, and we'd love to plug him into to what we're doing with Violence Reduction Initiative. A musician himself, Paul Smith, insisted on meeting the gospel rapper. Uh, to have the disciple and other rappers who are doing positive rap, I think it's a great idea. And now Stephen, John, and Paul Smith all seemed very excited to work with each other on a project they all believe in. We will have to keep you posted on that. Alyssa? Betsy, thank you so much. Since the VRI began, there's been an 18% decrease in gun violence, according to Paul Smith.